Hi. 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 Hey, excuse me. Hi. I see you like to read, but I'm wondering, have you looked into digital books lately? I know. I know. Paper books are great. I mean, they're timeless. But, you know, e-books are really useful also. For one thing, dozens of books now fit onto any tablet, which is very convenient. Because your books live in the cloud, you always retain the titles that you buy, even if you lose your tablet. And you know, most devices are illuminated, so you can read in any light. And generally, ebooks are cheaper too. There are really a lot of useful features. Ebook tablets and e readers have onboard dictionaries for easy reference, and they use a convenient search feature instead of an index. Did you know you can highlight text? You can even leave notes. It's also worth remembering that ebooks are environmentally friendly. They require no delivery, no packaging, hey, no paper either. Still with me? Okay, okay, so a lot of people get confused because there are several different devices sharing the ebook market right now. There are basically two categories to consider e readers and e tablets. E readers are just for reading, they're cheaper than tablets, generally smaller, but the thing is, they can't run other apps, and they often don't connect to the internet, except to download books. Tablets, on the other hand, do a lot of other things, like a computer. It really depends on what you want. Oh, and there's just one more important thing that's good to know about ebooks. It might clear up some confusion if I take a minute to explain it, okay? All right. The vast majority of ebooks are in a format called ePub, you know, e-publishing, ePub, and they're available everywhere ebooks are sold. This format was designed for books that are mostly text, so it works great for novels, nonfiction, technical manuals. The EPUB format lets readers control font and font size, which is great, but it does have a side effect of leaving odd line breaks and funny shaped pages. Also, where images are involved, they can be dropped in without a lot of design finesse. This lack of consistent formatting is why e-readers in this format have underwhelmed some people in their first experience with digital books. As an alternative, Apple invented a different format called iBooks. iBooks are only available from Apple and they work on all iPads and on Macintosh computers. iBooks can showcase those books that don't work well in the EPUB format. They're great, for instance, for heavy image publications, where the layout can be as important for communication as the content. For instance, magazines, textbooks, and children's books. The fixed format of iBooks allows designers to treat them like traditional books, page by page, so the result is a fully integrated layout. iBook files can be larger than EPUBs, and this opens the door for special features, like, for instance, pop-up text blocks, picture galleries, built-in calculators, games, and so on. iBooks also make it practical to embed videos. They can play in a little window or be pinched up to go full screen. I think you can start to see the potential. Okay, okay, sorry to go on, but I hope this clarifies things a bit. Paper books aren't going anywhere, but it's clear that e-books have a lot to offer too. Maybe they're worth another one.